Hello everyone and welcome back to Alex Elliott Golf. This week we're going to talk about how we're going to start to spin these pitch shots into the green. Now, this is something that I get asked a lot of questions with clients, but also a lot of the comments down below on Instagram are always asked like, oh, how do you pros spin those pitch shots? Well, we're going to run through a step-by-step -step guide of how you guys at home are going to start spinning those pitch shots. The key is here though, we don't want too much spin where it goes and spins back off the green. The key is controlling that spin because a lot of you guys either hit that shot or a lot of the pros, depending on the lie, hit that shot that bounces and rolls out, whereas you want that shot that bounces once and stops dead. So we've got that control, we've not got too much spin, but we've not got any spin at all. Now, before we get into the particulars of how we're actually gonna spin the golf ball, it is very, very much dependent on the lie. You need a very good lie for one, you need it sat up, if it's sat down in the rough, it's then very hard to spin it because you can't get the right contact, you can't get the right spin, and there's not the right contact on the club face. Let's run through those step-by-step -step guides and get you spinning those pitches. So apart from the lie, what are the three things that we need to have in place in order to spin those pitch shots? Well, one, we need loft. So I've got my most lofted club in my golf bag here, my 58 degree wedge. Secondly, we need speed. We need a maximum speed in order to spin that golf ball. The faster we hit the golf ball, the more speed and spin we can produce. Thirdly, we need a centeredness of strike. So directly out the middle of the club head, out the heel or out the toe will not produce that desired spin we are, are requiring now. So I want you to bear in mind those three factors, loft, speed and centeredness of strike. One of the most common, not a myth, but kind of one thoughts with most amateur golfers is that we have to move that golf club back in the stance in order to start spinning those golf shots. Well, this is partly correct, because then we get a nice descending blow on the golf ball. However, by moving this ball back in the stance, we do create a descending blow onto the golf ball, but also we reduce the dynamic loft. And we said before, we want that loft at impact. So reducing dynamic loft is reducing the loft the golf club has at impact. So if we move the golf club back, there's more likely of us shutting down that club face, reducing that dynamic loft, reducing the chance of us spinning the golf shot. So we said we needed loft on the club face and we've both said that we now agree that if we hit down the golf ball with the ball back in our stance, we're reducing the dynamic loft the golf club has. So we're gonna move this golf ball into the middle of our stance. Now, this is gonna give us still a chance of hitting this ball slightly on the down, but also it's gonna allow us to keep that loft on the club face in order to maximize that spin. So from the middle of the stance, we can make a nice backswing, slight descending blow, but then still apply more dynamic loft to the golf club. So how are we gonna start spinning those wedge shots? So let's firstly talk about setup. I want you to move that ball into the middle of your stance. I want you to maintain 60 to 40% of your weight on your left side. So I want 60 on your left, 40 on your right hand side. So my weight's slightly going towards the target and I want you to keep that weight there throughout the shot. The reason for moving that ball forward in the stance is gonna help us be shallower into the back of the golf ball and being shallower into the back of the golf ball is going to allow us to maintain a higher dynamic loft and that is key to spinning these wedge shots. So, we've got the ball in the middle of our stance, weight 64 on the left, and now we're going to feel like we're having a wider back swing, so less wrist hinge, wider back swing, shallower into the back of the ball with the ball forward, maintaining that dynamic loft with some speed, allowing us to spin those golf shots. Let's give it a go. So ball 60-40 on my left hand side, we're going to feel wider, to wider, maintain that dynamic loft. Just a little bit of spin there. So let's just run through in a little bit more detail why exactly maintain that dynamic loft increases our chances of spinning the golf ball. Now, if we take the fact that we're gonna hit this ball 10 degrees in the down, so we've got a tack angle of minus 10. We then produce 50 degrees of dynamic loft, which is the loft presented to the golf club at impact to the golf ball. Now. This is gonna give us a spin loft, so the difference between my attack angle and my dynamic loft is gonna give me my spin loft. And that is what is exactly gonna spin the golf ball. So the higher spin loft we can create, the more chances of spinning the golf ball when presented with a centered strike and with speed. Thank you for watching this week's tip on Alex Elliott Golf. Now you know exactly how to get the desired spin off your pitch shots to the green, whether the green is firm or soft, you can control that spin. As we said, the three things are speed, loft and sentence of strike if you can display those three then we know we're going to spin those golf shots thank you for watching as always don't forget to hit that subscribe button below to keep up to date with everything alex elliott golf whether it be course vlogs tips and the caddy diaries which is an inside look onto life on the challenge tour and european tour 
Thank you for watching. See you next week on Alex Elliott Golf.